and welcome to More Than One Opinion. This is Rodi Namal with my co-host Jenny Day. Welcome, joining us for another segment. It's going to be a little bit spicy <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and exciting. We were talking about new age dating or mm-hmm. what the dating world is like today <clears throat> compared to how things were back in the days. Yeah. And, um, you know, with the pros and cons, you know, whether you prefer how things are now mm. or how things were back in the day. So I think, Rody, definitely, <laughs> you definitely. should open up. Um, look, I'll, I'll share a few things, but definitely we don't have enough time for it. <laughs> so I'll try to <laughs> condense, condense it as it. much as possible. Um, look, I mean, there's, there's a lot of options now, obviously, because of online um, mm-hmm. uh, facility. So um, what we did um, sort of, when I say older days, it's like, pre uh, sort of Facebook which is 11 years ago um, anything before then uh, yeah. was really face to face dating there was um, online dating I mean uh, I know plenty of people that um, that have gone uh, online my uncle actually found his wife online dating wow okay so uh, this was you know where internet dial up just came up yeah, yeah. So, um, so it's been around it's not that it hasn't been around what I felt was and I always used to say oh, it's for oldies it's for old people Right. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, and that, that's what it used to be, right? Like back then, it was like it was more, like, it was more website. It, it, was it website. wasn't. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't like wasn't interactive. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, definitely not, not interactive. Now, yeah. the, you know, there's there's pros and cons, and um, you know, I'll, I can list a few of either. Um, pros, uh, cons. Like it, it, the good things with with the apps is that um, I'm not saying in specific app, but the good thing is that that you can select, and there's a big selection as opposed to. Um, where you'd have to go out and you have to physically sort of meet a number of people um, at, at a particular time. And then, you know, maybe there's a bigger selection now, right? Um, I definitely think it's in favor for women more than men. Okay. Um, because uh, a woman will get bombarded on, uh, on those dating apps in comparison to men. Okay. Obviously, it depends how high value you are. Um, let's be honest. Uh, a four out of ten girl could easily get a guy that's eight or nine easily really uh, easily a guy that's four will not get any girl but you talk about in just like a hookup it's or just, like a relationship anything, like anything, whatever anything okay. so so if a guy is a six he'll maybe get a three number in the terms of girls um very rarely he'll get his number so it's, it's in favor definitely for the women uh also um the women whether it be catfish or not catfish um, girls know how to take photos better than guys. So whether it be the angle, whether it be the whatever, um, the tons of uh, filters and makeup that she's got on, um, you know, it's in favor for the woman. She just looks more presentable than he on on generally on sort of uh, on the apps. Now, it's okay if you've got a good body, you've got a nice six pack. It doesn't matter what photo you take, you're going to look good. Um, but generally, that's not the case. That's top five percent of population. The, the rest are not. They're just average looking guys, nerdy maybe, uh, maybe a little bit chubby, whatever, right? So uh, they struggle. They, they struggle a lot. I speak to them all the time. So uh, it's in favor this situation for women more than men. Um, now, for the top 5% of men that are on those apps, it's, it's good for them because they'll get heaps of girls um, wanting to talk to them. They'll have a selection of them too. So good that you get a big selection and you know you the comfort of your own home um not good is that you uh, you know it's it's not real like it's not face to face you didn't meet them through people you didn't meet them at a function you didn't um think it, it, there's, there's it's not real and uh and then you have to put on a show every single time when you actually go on the date because it's repetitive um i know women that go two three times a, a, a day with different guys um, because it's a meal for them. The guy will just spend and pay for their lunch, breakfast, uh, dinner, right? So it's like it's just a meal for them. If they do meet a guy, then it's cool. If they don't, it doesn't matter. It's for free for them. So like I said to you, it's geared up for the women. Yeah, um, very even, transactional. Uh, it's very transactional. Um, even Bumble, um, I, I've never been on it, but I know because the guys tell me, is that uh, the girl has to initiate it. Oh really? You, if she doesn't say hi, you even if you like to a photo or not, um, the 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 connection will go within twenty four hours. So it's it's geared all for 
the women. It's, it's definitely good for the women, um, not that good for the men, to be honest. Okay, um, that's an interesting so, take. Yeah, that's the first time yeah. I kind of like heard Unless you're a high-valued guy. Yeah. Like I'm talking, yeah, you'd have to be above seven easily. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything. So I think like the focus on obviously these apps because you're not meeting people or having the conversation. Yeah. You don't know their demeanor, their mm. personality. It's you know purely based on a physical um you know connection like first yeah so do you think in you know because of that reason a lot of people are missing out on opportunities with people that they would have perhaps connected with in person when i'm saying four and yeah. six of people i'm rating them i'm yeah. saying their appearance yeah of um, course. but that person could be a 10 out of 10 personality and absolutely and um, and then in person no one will see that that, that person is just a four because he's not that yeah. ugly his, his personality makes him look even more handsome and, and her personality makes her more prettier. Um, so, unfortunately, all those dating apps are really for face value first. Like, you look, you like, you swipe. So, it's more like casual. It's more about casual hookups. It, it, look, it, it, I yeah. mean, it can become something much more than that, of course. Yeah. But what I mean is if that it's like geared for, for appearance first. Yeah, of course it right? is. And then, yeah. obviously, the thing. So, to go through that. So, that, like I said, there's pros and cons in it. Um, that's what you've got, the tools that you've got. Why not yeah. use it? Um, I mean, I prefer the old-fashioned style, um, where. But then again, that's also confidence. Uh, we're used to that. Like that's how we know how to talk. Yeah. Um, there's this whole new generation of guys um, hide behind the keyboard. Yeah. Right. So uh, it's so funny because when you meet people that can talk over a keyboard mm -hmm. or over the phone, um, you meet them in real life, and you think. Dude, you're a geek. You're, I just, I the same you, person. you don't know how to say three words. You're yeah. a real introvert. Like you, you look like the biggest extrovert on the on yeah. because you're like tough behind the thing. Yeah. But they're not. So what happens is uh, the personalities are all hidden behind the online dating system. So what happens? You have to go through a lot of people because you probably are not compatible with them, and they're not compatible with you because it, it appears that you are because you're all talking yeah. on the phone. Yeah, um, but it's not in real life. So, um, look, it's it's pros and cons. I think utilize the tools; it's there. Just be very weary of what you're uh, sort of. You, don't put your heart on that. Um, yeah, the, the old fashioned style of really meeting people through people. Um, you know, you go to a birthday party and people sort of uh, introduce you. I think that's that can never be beaten. Um, because yeah. you can see it, there's chemistry, there's Yeah, there's you attraction. feel that straight away. You feel that vibe straight you know, away. That, that's how I've that's yeah. how I've sort of yeah. thing. And that, I mean, yeah. And you know, I got married and I'm divorced now, but I got married to my ex like that. Yeah. She came to pick up her friend um, uh, at a place that I was at. Mm -hmm. I saw her, she stayed, we spoke, we got married. Um, you know, we years later, obviously, got married. <laughs> um, things broke down, but yeah. I think what broke down was uh, was the communication, and we just didn't know how to get along with each other anymore. Um, I think if we addressed it differently, we would be still together. Um, but things happen, and that's okay. Like yeah. that's fine. That was a journey of my life yeah. with her. I would never uh, uh, say anything wrong because I love that. I love the fact that we met that way. I love the fact that there was genuine. No one set us up. No one. We didn't meet each other on a on a phone or a you know, online dating thing. We physically saw each other. We liked each other. We started talking to each other. We started dating, and it was just like it flowed. That's that you can't be beaten. Of course you, you know can't. I mean? So uh, and it has a bit of know. a story, right? Like yeah. you have that, you know, you know how you guys mm. met. Like it's cute. Oh, it's, you've got it's, that. You've got awesome. like history. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I think the other thing with online dating, especially with social media and, and Instagram, is that mm. you have a tendency to pre-profile people, right? Yeah, of so before you like <clears throat> even meet them, you're sitting here scouring through all yeah. their, you know, social media profile, and you already have a predisposed idea, yeah. an opinion. Of who they are as a Forms person, before you see them. yeah, and I think that puts a lot of pressure, and that can kind of it like is. it is, you know, I think most times play negatively because you have this idea in your head yeah. of how that person mm. will be or how they will interact with yeah. you know how with you and and yeah, um, yeah and you meet a person you're just kind of like mm. Mm. look, I've I've met people where you think oh, wow, this is how she dresses, oh my god, and this and that, and then she's the biggest geek when you meet her, she can't even say three words together, she can't talk, yeah, right, um, yeah, dresses like she's the you know the porn star of porn stars um, on Instagram, but doesn't look like that in real life. Um, talks over the phone like she can man, she can manage companies and companies, um, but can't order her food because she's embarrassed to talk to a waiter. So like, it, it's a misperception, and uh, and this is the issue. What I'm saying is that the you know be prepared for that. 
Um, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of catfishing. There's a lot of uh, escorts on, um, uh, on, on dating yeah, sites. Yeah, that's true. Actually, 80% of the girls on there are escorts um, or sugar babies. So uh, that, that's normal. They even say it. Right, so um, yeah, fun about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just that's what it is. Yeah. So um, look, personally, I'm not on any. Um, I was like before, and it's nice every now and then to to just jump on and see what's going on because there's some genuine people. On yeah, there. of course. Um, yeah. But if you stay yeah. on there for too long, you're going to be seeing the same people there, and and you just think, why are you single for two years? Why are you single for three? Why are you single? Everyone's wrong and you're right. Um, no, I think there's something wrong with you. Um, so, look, you're going to meet your yeah. crazies, and I'm talking crazies on both ends. You're going to yeah. meet crazies on uh, the guys and crazies on the girls, and you're going to meet your, uh, you know, just people that you think there's a reason why you're single. Um, you cannot be with anyone. You shouldn't be with anyone, actually. I feel sorry for whoever goes with you. Um, and then you meet people you think, well, where have you been? There's awesome people. Um, but but you're good as friends. I can't be with you as a as yeah. Anymore. Um, so look, it, it's you're profiling, but it, it, there's so much of it. It's a bigger option because it's a bigger sort of uh, net to to collect. Of course. Rather than yeah. the bubble that we lived in, for instance, pre uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. and all this stuff. Um, so where you you know have to physically go out and you have to do that. So it makes it easier, I think, for lazier people. Yeah, I think um, it's kind of my personal take on it is yes, it, it is a great way of meet people, meeting people you necessarily mm. would not cross paths with, yeah. but also having too many options yeah. and not necessarily all quality, mm. it kind of dilutes the quality of interactions Correct. and the relationships like that you have Correct. yeah with someone. <laughs> and also what I think that does is that people don't want to also work mm. you know, work it's on easier. work it's- on something. Just, it's like oh no yeah just something yeah minor like goes wrong mm. oh that's uh, I'm, I'm turned off like that's too hard yeah instead of actually yeah, putting yeah. the effort and actually like, you're right for a person that like I mean you're, you're obviously married so you don't you don't go on no, the sites but, but, but I, you I have, know I have so yeah. many friends who, so who've what been happens through is, it um, like uh, this is something that I wanted to mention is that most conversations don't last past two minutes they don't so what happens is most of the time you're trying to get the person that you're talking to on whatever app you're on yeah. to go on either phone mm-hmm. or Instagram or Snapchat. Yeah. Right. So that you can talk to them on another platform. Yeah. So what happens is then you go on and then um, and then you pretty much it's gone. It's got like you're not going to talk to them anymore because it's like that's what your plan was to do. So uh, it dies before it even started. Um, and then there's some that are quite good. They're into the thing, and then you just think. Um, they're too eager, so I don't want them, right? So it's it's so weird this day and age. Like it's 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 a real hard situation. So you just so easily like, oh, dismiss them. I don't want them. They're too eager. Mm. Like, why are they so eager? They're that desperate. Oh my god, just now. So they could be genuine, but that's what happens. So then then you're like, oh, no, she's too desperate, or he's too desperate, or she's too desperate. So uh, yeah, oh, too bubbly. Oh my god, I can't. That's too much. Or oh, what a downer. I can't do that. Uh, but they might be just going through like so. It's, it's a tough it's, one. It's it's, a tough yeah, one. it's yeah. difficult because you easily because you have so many options. But there's pros and cons in it. Of like, course, definitely. of course. I think yeah. it's a tool and definitely u- utilize yeah. it. Um, if you're not finding um, uh, someone, um, utilize it. It's there. It's yeah. a good tool. Yeah. And for, for women, it's it's easier than it is for men, to be honest. Um, you could be the ugliest girl out and you'll have three, four hundred guys messaging you. Um, you could be quite a good looking guy and you'll only have about 50 or 60 girls messaging you. Right, so it's it's in favor for the women because I right? guess culturally, culturally, females them. don't pursue. Yeah, right? but it's like, to protect them too. So yeah. it definitely, it's a tool utilize it. Yeah, um, but there's ways of increasing your, uh, um, I think, your ranking on those uh, things. So like women, men should take better photos of themselves. Um, like women, they take sc- uh, scenic uh, photos, they go out, they take nice photos. Men just don't even like taking photos, full stop, right? Um, and if they do, they're looked at as a show off. But it's like, no, take advantage. If you go out somewhere, you're on a mountain, you're a, you're on the beach, take a photo. Yeah. Take a good lighting, take photos, put that on there. Um, smile a bit in your photos, you'll notice that people will actually um, come closer and they'll actually want to talk to you, engage with you because you're approachable. Um, don't tell your whole life story on the, um, uh, on the on the bio. Just say a few things, a few things that you're looking for, a few things. Thing. Don't tell them what you don't like in a girl. Don't tell them what you don't like in a guy. Just say a few things. Leave it a little bit mysterious. People like to ask questions. Yeah, so don't these are little share. tips. Yeah, these are little little tips that I think um, would help you a lot. Um, but you know, I think again, it's a tool. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't put my heart set on that. 
I still really love the old fashioned style. Look, you're not going to pick up in a I shopping centre. I don't like that. I mean, you're a sleaze. Why? Right? You're going to look like a sleaze. <laughs> Uh, I think I think they used to have it back the I know, Daisy. Exactly, because there wasn't o- the options yeah. weren't there. Um, <laughs> I guess I, it was more I, in high school then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't work. Yeah. It won't work. I'll be honest. Don't approach people. I'll put up some lawsuit against you or whatever. So <laughs> don't do that. But what I think <laughs> is, um, uh, you know, go to functions, go yeah. to birthday parties, go to things. Um, uh, you know, be open to talk to people. Yeah. That, that, Think that's the best style of meeting. People. I think so. I think like meeting you know? with nothing beats like meeting someone that's it. face that's to the face best style. because uh, yeah. you just get to know the aura and yeah. the demeanor of that person straight yeah. away. Because there's there's a lot of people abusing the online system, right? Of course, so they're yeah. abusing. And to be honest, it's mostly women that are abusing it because what happens is they're utilizing it to just for a guy to take them out for a free lunch or free dinner. Yeah, uh, it, it's normal. You ask any girl, she'll yeah. tell you this. Um, and uh, and then you get um, you know your escorts, your sugar babies and whatever, also abusing the system. So you can't tell them apart. You don't yeah, know who's difficult. who. Yeah, it's difficult. So it's like, um, it, just meet normal people. Like you have to sort through a lot of yeah, rubbish. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Like, like anything, there's good information on Google and there's bad information. It's yeah. like you sorting through it. Yeah. So for me personally, if you can meet people face to face through um, uh, through you know different connections and links yeah. that you have around you, which means you have to get out of the house, this also means you can't be lazy. Um, I feel they're going to be stronger um, uh, relationships um, yeah, and uh, so. built on different things. Later Absolutely. On. Because I'll be honest, uh, if if he's on Tinder, Bumble, whatever, and she's on Tinder, Bumble, are you okay with them basically dating at the same time while they're dating you? Because they're 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 in that market. Of course, right? that's and the that world that you're in. So it's like, yeah. what, am I going to be sort of on standby for Pretty the much. next three months until? he or she finds that there's no one better than me so then they'll keep me. Yeah. I, I, I don't like that. Where's his time? Right? So, like, I don't like doing that to people. I don't want them yeah. to do that to me. So it's like, um, no, you don't want someone to be doing that. Yeah. You genuinely want someone that they're out. You want them to like shop, like, your, like shop you around. That's it. Yeah. So something better comes along. Yeah, so they're like, holding on to you while they're, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe there's other. So yeah. unfortunately, that's the world that's that you're living in now. That's mentality, correct. Um, and yeah. that's the online dating system, yeah. right? Like, yeah. that's the online dating. But that's what people like. That's why you have so many single people also out there mm. because of that reason because they're so yeah. unfulfilled. Mm. I'll tell so you no. the other thing too that people do. This is a tip um, so that you know. Um, if they say to you they want to meet you for breakfast, yeah. you're the ugliest of the pick. <laughs> 100%. That's Yeah, so yeah. because what happens is they've basically, guys or girls, what they've done is basically uh, set up their day to meet multiple people. Of course. Right? Yeah. So they've left the best for last. Okay? So they've filtered through, oh, it's okay, in the daytime and at night, they've left the best for last. Right? So that's the truth. So that gives you a, a yeah, indication yeah. of where you're at. Yeah, yeah, where you're at straight away, right? Um, if they've given you a weekday, not a weekend, okay, you're just a whatever. I think weekday is fine. Like when you're getting mm-hmm. to know someone, but meeting up, meeting, you know, meeting up on a weekday. On weekend, but I'm busy on the weekend. Um, generally, it means like, if they well, give you, you a Sunday yeah. night, if they give you a Sunday night, you're not priority. They've left you to end of the week. <laughs> you're not a priority, okay? If they give yeah. you Friday and Saturday nights, yeah, you're you're definitely uh, high on their pick. But see, like, you don't know, again, till you meet but someone. But it's a high probability. Yeah. But you yeah. don't know till you meet someone as to how you're going to click with them. No, no, it's like, not. But it's, like, well. it's like trying to yeah, filter through. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's yeah, like yeah, little trips. Yeah. Like little, little yeah, yeah, of course. Like, thinking, little, little I think that goes in general, like, online dating aside, even in mm-hmm. relationships in on in the real, like, world. You know, when you meet, like, a friend or, like, yeah. someone else, what and when you give their t- your time to it determines, yeah. like... The importance of your relationship, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, with how, that person. For, for me, I've got a philosophy where, like, I've, I've and a statement that I make all the time that um, don't give more than you're give, get, you're being given. Yeah. So give what you get given. Yeah. So seriously, otherwise you're going to look quite desperate and yeah. Happy. If they're not giving you more, um, they don't think you're worth more. Yeah. Right. So why are you giving them more for free? Why? Yeah. Um, give them what they're giving you. If, they're not your type and that's not what you want, then be quite blunt and quite honest with them and move on. Um, so that kind of style for me is old school way of thinking. Yeah, I love um, that. And, and that just be straight up. That's right. Um, unfortunately, because they play games, they think, oh my God, he's doing the bad boy thing. So they like you more, but I'm not. That is actually real truth. If um, I'm not going to give you any more than you're giving me. Um, I'm, I'm a gentleman just because I'm a gentleman. I don't want anything from you. Yeah. I'm just a gentleman. That's what I've been taught. Okay, any more than that, and um, you'd have to be my wife because I'm not going to do that. So it's 
general things like just sort of suss out the thing don't be too desperate don't talk too much on um on the text uh, more than they speak I think that kills desperate. it I think I think if you're like talking too much on text no, and you haven't set a date to meet that's it I think if you're attracted to someone don't let it drag on no. set a date to meet smash it straight figure away figure it out yeah otherwise then you'll be sitting there pondering you know mm. like yeah. over, overthinking stuff well that that comes to the thing again where that person's on on a dating um, site yeah which means you you spoke to them on Monday arrange something for Saturday or Friday yeah they're still on that dating site, which me, and you're still on that dating site, which means they're still arranging and you're arranging other dates. So that's why I say to you that whole system. Yeah, of course. It's up to you. It's yeah, your yeah. call. Yeah. Uh, they're going to pick I get the that. best of the group. I get that. As you are going to pick. So yeah. If you're okay to be in that system, you like that. Good on you. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit stuck up. I don't like to be in that system. No, you want to like. If, I don't you, like if it. you're giving your time to someone, you want to make no, sure. I don't like to. I'm it, really it, stuck it, up. I don't like it. it. So I'm yeah. like, no, I'm not one of those guys. So it's up to you. You can go. It's fine. So I've had a, a thing where I um, I booked once to see a girl, um, me and her on a date on Sunday. Right? Yeah. Uh, because I was actually busy on Saturday. Yeah. Um, and then um, I saw her Insta and her story, and I saw other guys in the Insta, right? And they're cheesing the other guys. And I went, her and her friend, two other guys, no. Okay. Block. Straight up. Like that. I'll be honest. Quite harsh, quite straight. So I was like, no, I'm not one of the other guys. I'm not just a random guy. Yeah. Okay? She never messaged to tell me anything. She probably got cut that I cut her off. Um, but that's fine. Like that's what it is. So there's there's things there to see. It's up to you how hard you want to be. I don't want to be a number. Um, yeah. If you want to be a number, it's up to you. Yeah. It's your call. I don't want to yeah. be a number, right? So I'm. And like, that's no. your right. Yeah. So it's okay. You're I, holding I yourself to a high standard. No, it's okay. Like that's yeah. me. I'm not asking anything more from you, but that's what I am. So I prefer not to meet them, to be honest, on a dating site. But if you, you know you're not going out, it's COVID, whatever, then it's it's a tool. Use it. Yeah. But be prepared that you're just a number and she's going to and he's going to go for the highest bidder. They're going to go for the best one. That's the truth. Yeah. And you won't get right. like, you know, those cute romantic, you know, gestures like no. you do when you like pick someone up in, no. you know, in real life. And, you know, no, no. No, just those like little things. They're like, options. Yeah. Like yes. I was at a dinner with my girlfriend like recently and, you know, although I'm married, it was like nothing going on. Mm. But, you know, like the waiter, I brought me my like coffee cappuccino but it put like a love heart foam it's on so there cute. i'm like so cute i'm like yeah. not my type at all but i'm like that gesture yeah, but cute. that was so touching i'm like it's mm. so cute that people actually still make that effort yeah you know what i mean like if i was single mm. and i'm like i would so appreciate you know what i mean mm. so just Look, those, little, those little things little bit, yeah. yeah but if yeah. someone that's been on a dating site for years and they're used to that that's yeah. their life they don't know anything that's, else that's all they know yeah so they look it again it's a tool yeah utilize it if you mm-hmm. if that's all you've got but nothing beats the old way of meeting people through Absolutely. people. Um, some people say, oh, but it might not work. I don't want to dirty the area that I live in. If you're already <laughs> planning that you're going to break up because then you're a player. And yeah. You're, uh, both ways, guys and girls. So that's fine. I understand. Use that site because really you're a player. right? You don't want anything to end up uh, serious anyway. Yeah. So you know that you're going to stuff up in your, in, you know, your friend's line, that people that know them and whatever. So that's fine. But that's the truth. So play, go play your game. When you're ready, meet someone for real yeah. and invest time when you know that you're going to invest time in them if you feel that you want to eventually settle down. But if you want to be a player for now, yeah, go on those sites. They're awesome for, those, for that. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's a good takeaway. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. what I think. Mm. Well, thanks so much for joining us for another episode. Hope that spiced up your day. <laughs> <laughs> so, gave, <laughs> gave some good tools to navigate through the new uh, dating world. Mm. And we'd love to hear about your experiences with the online dating. Yes, or yes. yes, we'd love to hear about that and um, what your preference would be. Thank you. Bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Mm-hmm.